I am Dr. Sabha Rupani, a general surgery resident, and today I have with me Dr. Malhar Joshi. Dr. Malhar has done his Bachelor's of Veterinary Sciences and Animal Husbandry from Mumbai Veterinary College, Bombay. He further completed his diploma in diagnostic ultrasound and is currently a practicing veterinary doctor and owns his own clinic in Bombay. Hello, Dr. Malhar. Welcome. Hey. So we all know veterinary medicine is a branch of medical science which deals with treating animals. I think that was all you know and not a lot of people know in detail about it. So as you've completed your bachelor's in veterinary sciences and animal husbandry, take us to what exactly it is and how is the course like, what it consists of. So like any medical course, uh, we have to do 12 science. It is a science-based course, so 12th science, then person has to appear for entrance exam. Uh, it could be NEET, it could be CET, whichever the exam is there in the year functioning that way. All right. And then it's a five and a half years course, out of which nine semesters would be the college and one semester, like from year four and a half to five and a half would be in the internship where... But internship in veterinary is not like an MBBS where you are stationed in uh, one particular hospital in the city or somewhere. In the course, you will be uh, required to move around in the state or maybe a couple of states uh, visiting different uh, dispensaries, different centers throughout the state. Uh, centers would be, would be a research, would be pathology, uh, then clinics then vaccine production, then uh, a better. So it will be a complex of all the systems, which they will make sure that every student passes through. Uh, every student should get exposure of everything. So that later, after graduation, the person should be able to decide whether the, where the person stands in the interest. Oh. All right. So what made you choose veterinary as a branch? Did you always want to be a veterinary? Yeah, love yeah. for animals. Childhood, childhood passion, basically. Okay, <laughs> love for animals. But did you always wanted to be a doctor as well? Yeah, yes. Veterinarian, it's, it was my childhood dream actually to pursue veterinary. If not, then would have done something in biology. But veterinary was the first choice. All right, perfect. So, like you said, you all have internship and you all get exposed, like everybody should get exposed to everything so that once they come out of it, they should know everything. So, what does yes. this everything of What all is the exposure and what all comes under veterinary? Veterinary as an academic you're saying or the internship part you're saying? No, the clinical part I'm asking, like the work part. Okay, so during internship, uh, if the person is stationed in the clinic or in the dispensary or in the hospital kind of thing where they will be exposed to medicine and surgery primarily and then next would be a pathology center where they will work with blood works, parasites work and maybe viral testing likewise. Then third would be a zoo where they will work with wild animals, they will work with zoo management. Uh, feeding of those animals so entirely they'll work in, in in the medicine and the management part both then would be uh, maybe a, a vaccine production so in the vaccine production they they will work as a they'll work in a field of microbiology uh, in quality analysis and Basically, entire knowing the entire process, procedure, how to how a vaccine is produced. Then next center uh, would be poultry. Again, they will work in med poultry medicine and the management. Next would be uh, maybe a cattle farm, a sheep goat farm. Same way, the medicine and the management part. Uh, management as in uh, how expenses are done how we manage the labor, everything, they will get the exposure to it. All right. I think it's it looks more or less like what we do with humans, we all are doing with animals. The branches are more or less similar, which includes yeah, pathology, yeah. Yes, everything. Yes. 
So whatever branch are there in human, like there's a surgery, there is medicine, there is gynecology. So everything is similar. But if I'm not wrong, uh, ophthalmology goes separate, ENT goes separate, so general surgery goes separate, orthopedic goes separate. Likewise, at least in our country, uh, we don't have those separations. Everything comes under umbrella of surgery. When a person gets the admission for uh, surgery masters, that person will be covering that entire umbrella. And in that, they may choose a part of the stream to specify. All right. So like we spoke about surgery, what are the masters or post-graduation options that we have after our bachelor's is done? After graduation in clinical, you will have masters in medicine, surgery and gynecology. In paraclinical, there would be microbiology, parasitology, pathology. And then the animal husbandry part comes uh, that will have poultry, that will have farms, the genetics is there, anatomy physiology is there, like this. Okay. And work options after this, like what are the work options? A, we can obviously work in, like we can have our own setup. Apart from there, yeah. are there Apart work from, options? Yeah. Apart from own setup, like everyone, uh, everyone's favorite, the government jobs. Government jobs have plenty. Anyone uh, can become IS. People can become uh, join. People can join as a veterinary officer for dispensary labs. Maybe government poultry, government farms, etc. Then person can work in pharmaceutical as a research and or you can work as a have the own clinic or you visit as a consultant something like that okay all right so like we spoke about a common entrance exam that is need which yeah. we have for all medical fields similarly for getting into masters do you have any entrance exam yeah uh, but it is not called NEET pg it is called icar exam it is a uh, indian council of agriculture research exam that helps the uh, pg exam for veterinary masters so All right. everyone so, to appear for that and then clear it so this is one exam pan india yeah okay perfect and uh, what is the scope of going abroad? Like, is our veterinary degree of India valid in other countries? Uh, not really. It is not exactly valid, but you have to do a certain course. Like in Europe, you have to do MRCBS. In North America, NAVLA, you have to clear. And then you are at par with them. Then you can work. But till that time, the degree is not accepted. The regular degree is not accepted. Okay, so we can do our veterinary here and then give their exam and go there and then practice. Yes, yes, that is, yes, that is an option. All right, all right. Can you talk a little about, like, we all work to earn money. So how is it like in India as a developing country? Few years back, people were not, you know, so concerned. But nowadays, we all have, and everybody needs... So I think it's growing. Yeah. Few years back, people wouldn't wouldn't be spending on an animal. Like 10 years back, people would not have spent. But now, actually, there are people who are willing to spend the same amount of money as they would have spent on a, their family member. So, yes, there is a good scope. And as the industry is growing, the I would say as the industry is developing, there is a good scope with money wise income wise yes definitely one more question i have is now that you have your own setup in bombay how is it like what all patients do you like what all animals come as patients to your clinic what all I'm do you do treat only pets by education i i was taught the farm animals like cows and goats but now those because i am practicing in city so those are out of my practice and my knowledge right now but I do uh, treat small uh, pet animals. My primary animals are dogs and cats, followed by rabbit, turtle, and birds. All right, perfect. Towards the 
and any take home message for all the aspirants who want to take up veterinary but not know a lot about it see a um, few people i experienced now they came to veterinary science because they were they did not get admission to mbbs so they came okay because you are not getting so we are doing something different but what happens is these people when they graduate because they don't have liking for animals they are clueless what to do in their career if they don't like animals they will not have a good career they have wasted their five years and that they can regret it throughout their life so it's my honest suggestion if you have the liking for animals then only join veterinary don't join veterinary just for a degree just for a doctorate degree otherwise a person it's really saddening like after 5 years of your graduation you come out and you think what you will do now your scope is not clear that is very saddening so if you like i must then only you join otherwise there is no point in ruining your life all right so we spoke about who should not take veterinary but for people who really like animals and want to become a doctor and serve the animals yes. what do you have for them? keep learning it's a vast industry it's an ever growing industry and we are becoming at par to human medicine many many uh, few years back no one would have imagined that there could be an chemotherapy for a dog that could have could have been a radiation therapy just for a cat but now we can actually differentiate different types of tumor we can grade them we, we are at the at the point of research where uh, we are dealing with radiations and chemotherapies and that is giving good results successful results so keep learning and sky is the limit all right perfect all right dr malar thank you so much for joining in it was great having you here i hope this helps people who want to take up veterinary as a branch sure thanks a lot bye yeah bye